Jesse Coleman author. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a variety of different entities that in many ways connect to each other. And as far as the videos I've done on this forum ADV, the financial advisor forums from the uh, Security uh, Exchange Commission, Commission SEC. Uh, I'll mention it again from as for my other video. The main patterns to focus on here is Charles Schwab, Deloitte & Touche, Carta, Iron Mountain, State Street Bank & Trust, International Fund Services, Comerica Bank, First Republic Bank, Ernst & Young, Morgan Stanley, SSNC, PricewaterhouseCooper, and Smart. Now a lot of these entities that I just read off are all over the globe. They at least have offices all over the globe, all over the planet. So to think of them as particularly being based anywhere uh, is difficult. They have different elements based in different places, such as data centers and important documents than other documents they keep here and there. Now, in many cases, going through these filings, some of the names of the entities make it seem like those would be points to focus on. So to start with, we're going to look at Trade Winds Global. Now this is out, out of Los Angeles, California. That's their primary office address, but they also have offices in New York, Memphis, Tennessee. And then uh, the su subset accounts, um, the names on them, you've got Nuveen, N-U-V-E-E-N, Investment out of Chicago, Iron Mountain, of course, IFS, A Street, Toronto, Northern Trust, Chicago, Smarsh out of Portland, IBM out of Boulder, Colorado, and then we have Nuveen Data Center in Illinois. So this is probably, you're talking maybe data servers, things like that. Uh, this particular account, Tradewinds Global, these are financial accounts, mind you, has 42 employees and $3 billion shared across 3,589 accounts, uh, which are connected with UBS, which is Swiss, uh, Swiss famously Swiss Bank, Charles Schwab, Mount Yale, Morgan Stanley, RBC Capital Markets, Investnet, Citigroup, JP Morgan, Lockwood, Merrill Lynch, Mid Atlantic Trust, Stifle, Nicholas and Company, Wells Fargo, TD Ameritrade, Fidelity Investment, Oppenheimer Asset, TDX, Ekis Capital with a Q, E K I Q I S, Capital out of the United Kingdom, Gresham. Santa Barbara Asset Management. That sounds like that is, those are the assets of Santa Barbara, the city. So essentially, this account, Tradewinds Global, holds the assets of the city of Santa Barbara. And this is a theme that we're going to see across most of these filings, is that these entities actually hold the assets of entire locations, and in some cases states, and in other cases entire regions, and perhaps even, of course, the whole country. And then we have Symphony Asset, Winslow, Nuveen, and there's another interesting name, TIA, T-I-A-A, that's T, Tango, I, India, Alpha, Alpha, Board of Overseers, Teachers, Insurance, and Annuity Association of America, Germany. Uh, and then the next one is Tradewind, out of Nevada with David Hong Yi Yao and this filing has no other information on it. I always find that interesting when you have a filings that have virtually nothing filled out and clearly they are being uh, something's being covered up by the so-called regulators the SEC which in turn are going to be owned by these entities doing these filings. So I believe that the filings are necessary in some cases for the actual function and operation of this financial structure and that's the only reason why they bother doing it because otherwise there would be no reason. Now we're going to go on to the first big one that is for this video and that's Vanguard Group. This is one account mind you, there's other accounts likely that have the name Vanguard attached to them. This is out of Malvern their main office location allegedly is in Malvern, Pennsylvania, also Scottsdale, Arizona. It has 15 employees. Uh, of course, there's Iron Mountain, Amazon, Smarsh, Portland, and uh, 980 employees, mind you. 15 employees at the Scottsdale, Arizona location. 
980 employees total for this Vanguard Group fund, which is worth seven trillion and nine billion, split between 209 accounts. So if you want to do the math there, there's obviously a huge discrepancy, a large, uh, almost inco uh, incomprehensible amount of funding and assets associated with a handful. Well, in comparison, 209 accounts to seven trillion is a handful. Uh, so VGIM, Vanguard Mexico, Vanguard Super PTY Australia, Vanguard Group Europe, GmbH of Germany, Vanguard Investment Australia, Vanguard Investment Canada, Ontario, Vanguard Asset Management Limited UK, Vanguard Advisors Incorporated, Vanguard Mark Corporation, Vanguard Fiduciary Trust, Van Group Ireland, Van Group Investment UK, SF Private Cayman, of course you're, of course you're gonna have Cayman, the Cayman Islands involved, State Street, um, Bank and Trust, Vanguard Funds, Admiral. Now here we get into the really interesting names on this particular account. Ohio Tax Free is a name there, which to me sounds like they essentially own the state of Ohio. Then you have Valley Forge, Tax Managed Whitehall, Horizon, Scottsdale, New Jersey, Tax Free. So that's the state of New Jersey. California tax-free, state of California, New York tax-free, PA or Pennsylvania tax-free. So they, the van, this va single Vanguard group fund owns essentially the assets of Ohio, New Jersey, California, New York, and Pennsylvania. Then we have quantitative variables, Massachusetts tax exempt, Wellington and Windsor, now, Windsor, Wellington is, is a famous name you linked with the UK, but Windsor is, of course, the alleged current name of the royal family, so-called, of the United Kingdom. Next, we have World Trustees Equity. If that's not a weird name for uh, this type of account, you know, World Trustees, Trustees of the World. Explorer. Wesley or Wellesley Index, Bond Index, Fenway, Malvern, International Equity Index, Fixed Income Securities. So that's basically the idea here that these people control this financial system and financial mechanism and they fix your income. So if you're like most people, just a regular worker who goes out and collects an income, well, they've fixed an income for you. They have a cap on how much income you're allowed to obtain, essentially. That's what that sounds like there. Money market reserves, municipal bond, specialized, Chester, Andre Francois Perrault is a, a individual name associated with this account. Montgomery Star, Charlotte, South Korean. So they paid a, a penalty in South Korea and FINRA, they paid FINRA 800,000 for overestimation now that's interesting because that would relate to what's called hypothecation which is essentially speaking borrowing off of assets that you don't really have now if you google this it's going to tell you something a little different which is that you're borrowing on assets that is kept by the party that's doing the borrowing such as you put something up as collateral but you don't actually provide that property over for it to be held they call that hypothecation uh, the other way that you would look at it is that you don't actually own an asset, a tangible asset. And this is done in many ways. An easy example of this, as I've done in my other video, is the city of Logan uh, taking a loan out on future public works revenue. Obviously, you don't have that yet because you're betting it off of a future thing, which is uh, a theory that you think you're going to have this amount because you've had it in the past and then you take a loan on, out on that. So that's a common form of hypothecation but uh, as we see here there's others. You can overestimate your value and because you control the system with your regulators all you have to do is pay a fine of 800000 for it and that is taken out of hypothecation for overestimation of the actual amount of assets you have. Right? It's, it's a joke basically. And then you have Jacqueline Mary Angel uh, associated with this account as an individual. That's uh, 
Jacqueline Mary Angel, but with two L's. And so we'll move on from that account, but I think the picture is very clear with that one anyway. And now we'll uh, hit a few other interesting ones through here. We've got the Terra Luna Capital, which has no office address and no other info. Out of Delaware, these things are always filed out of Delaware, the state. Terra Luna Capital, Tethys Fund LP, 18 million. Demetrius Burkauer, HC Global Fund, San Francisco, California, with David Orr and Edward Chen listed on that. Next, we have Strix Leviathan 1 LLC out of Seattle, Washington, uh, which then has down into it Strix Leviathan Aurora Fund, Bermuda, Customers Bank, Phoenixville, Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, MG Stover & Company out of Denver, Colorado, Strix Leviathan Nest Fund 1 LLC out of Delaware, Strix Leviathan Nautilus Fund, LTD out of the British Virgin Islands, then we have Witham, Smith, and Brown, PC, out of New York. Now, here's some other interesting one, ones. Anchorage Trust, out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. That sounds like that's for the city of Anchorage in Alaska. Bitstamp, LTD, out of London. Choice Financial, Mercury, Fargo, North Dakota. Coinbase Custody, New York City. Coinbase Prime, New York City. Genesis Global Trading, New York Payword Incorporated Kraken, San Francisco, California. Kraken's a, a code word that is linked to certain uh, financial schemes. Uh, IASG Alternatives, Chicago, and Pro4 Advisors, New York. Next, we have Strix Leviathan with only a mailing address out of Seattle, Washington. And Strix Leviathan 1 LLC has a physical ad office address, apparently, in Seattle, Washington. So it sounds like they're playing some game here. As in, they, pro you can't trust any of this, these uh, office addresses and things like that on these filings. They have uh, on Strix Leviathan, Elizabeth Fong and Sadie Rainey, and no other information. No, no fund, no employee number, nothing. Next, we have Strike Capital out of San Francisco, California with John Lago Marcino and no other information, but also it does have Jamal Al-Hajj as general counsel. Then we have Star Capital Partners out of London, which is linked to Anglo International Shipping, Rembrandt GP, Price Waterhouse Cooper UK, Apex Depository, Star Financial out of Guernsey, and the interesting name on this count, Imperium Fund Services. Sounds like Empire, Imperium, right? Next, we have Whistler in Nashville with seven employees of one billion split between two accounts. Names on this, WCP Healthcare, Deloitte and & Tooch, and Michael Mueller. M-U-E-L-L-E-R. Boy, that's a name that pops up a lot. You know, you got the Mueller report, you got the Mueller that's uh, in charge of uh, Grand Canyon University and was in charge of some other stuff. And then you got, of course, the Cardinal Mueller or Mueller or whatever you want to call it uh, from Germany. They have Mercer Investments. And this is the second big one we're going to look at. The address listed at Princeton the and other universities actually connected offices on other universities. Uh, also with an office in Washington, D.C., they have Charles Schwab and a company and 129 billion uh, linked with Deloitte and Tooch. Now here's some other interesting names on this account. Income Research and Management. So that's one thing you'll find with a lot of these big accounts is that they're very focused on income. And I don't believe that they're focused on income to this fund, but they're rather focused on your income and everyone else's income that word of, which is also ubiquitous with salary. Next, we have Ares European Credit Strategies. And of course, Ares is the god of war. Mercer, Diocese of Brooklyn. So there you got, uh, you know, the uh, Universal Church Jesuit type stuff going on there. Global Trust Company, Acadian Mercer. U.S. Fixed Income Investment Portfolio. Now, if that name there does not clarify what I'm saying, then there's then there's nothing else for it because that that does that 
it says there's a fixed income for the United States and it's in this portfolio and they invest in that US fixed income. They have Price Waterhouse Coopers, Barclays Bank out of Guernsey. Now next is Wise out of uh, with Bank of Italy, Price Waterhouse Cooper and that's 912 million with no other real information on there. Sierra Crest Investment Management out of New York City linked to Digital Realty United Kingdom BC Partners, possibly Bitcoin, I don't know, or British Columbia, LLP UK, BCEC Management, XLUX SARL out of Luxembourg, Acronis International, GMBH, which is Swiss, SSNC GIDS, which is out of Kansas. Now here's the big one here. Apparently this fund has zero employees, 994 million, and three accounts. These, these numbers are pretty staggering when you look at them. And this is, and of course, this is also estimation of, this is mainly estimation of assets. But all of these estimation of assets and all of this official paperwork allows them to essentially print their own money, as it were, to control the whole financial system. Next, we have Ability Insurance Company, Mount Logan, the Great Lakes KCAP F3C Senior, U.S. Bank National Association, Portman Ridge Funding 2018-2, to LTD, Deutsche Bank Trust Company Americas, Santa Ana, California, Edward Goldthorpe is, is an individual associated with this account, Matthias Ederer, BCPSC Holdings, MLS, MLCSC Holdings, and David Held is the Chief Compliance Officer. That's an unlikely name there. Next we have Salt Fund Management, which has no physical address. List out of Delaware, which was linked to Salt Equity Partners 1 LLC. And that's the thing that you find with these funds. There's also a bunch of other funds, and they also probably overestimate their value, and they hypothecate, and so on and so forth. And then they have numbers and letters attached to them, but they're all the same name. Just keep on going. Kyber Capital Crypto, GP1. Rickley May and Company, First Republican Bank, or Republic Bank, Mercury Technology of San Francisco, California, Mercury, MG Stover & Company, Salt Fund Series, Mental Health, Pacific West Bank, Cornerstone Fund Services, Salt Fund Gene Therapy, there's some really weird names here, Salt Fund LP Series, Food, Series Longevity, Salt Ventures, Alexander Clocus, and, and Alexander Scaramucci are the... Uh, individual names listed on that account. Next we look at Rockbridge Capital which is very specific to activities going on in Ohio. Anybody who lives in Ohio will be able to attest to this. <clears throat> now Rockbridge is a location which is just north of Logan, Ohio which is down in the southeast uh, region. However Rockbridge Capital is listed out of Columbus, Ohio with 112 employees and four billion between 22 accounts. Just like with these other things, those numbers really stick out at you, don't they? Then we have RBC Partners, uh, IX, which is a nine, LLC, RB, nine in Roman numerals, dash CIV, Savannah Hotel Investment Holdings. Now, isn't that interesting? I assume they're talking about Savannah, Georgia. RBI Louisville, or Louisville, Louisville, however you want to say it. Uh, they say Louisville in uh, Kentucky. Hotel Investment Holdings 2 LLC, suggesting, of course, that there's more than one. RBI Eagle Hotel Investment Holdings, Bridgepoint Hospitality Management, RBC P Partners 7, RB Scioto Manager, RB Bradenton Investment Holdings, RBP Managers, RBC Partners 8, RB-CIV Cherry Creek Investment Holding Management, RBI Cleveland Hotel Investment Holding, and NM, that's the, in the name, NM, it might stand for New Mexico, I don't know, Developer Investment Holdings, Price Waterhouse Coopers, Columbus, Ohio, Huntington National Bank, no surprise, they're involved, Baker Tilly, US, Western Alliance, Phoenix, Arizona, Highwater QO Fund, RBI Del Rey Holdings, Rockbridge Hospitality Fund number nine, Rockbridge Hospitality Fund Feeder number six, 
First Commonwealth Bank, Indiana, Pennsylvania. It's, of course, formed out of Delaware, this, fi this particular fund. Uh, also linked to the BMO Bank out of Chicago, Flagstar Bank out of Troy, Michigan. James Merkel is an uh, individual on the account. Kenneth Krebs, John Haynes, Tem Tompe Edwards is the general counsel. Alexander Brett, Eric Phillips, and Art just RB Founders. Who knows who they are? And then also our Rock is Rockbridge Holdings. So Rockbridge Holdings is likely going to have another account fund linked to it. And, and so there's prob there's obviously more involved, but generally a small group of people are actually doing these things. And, you know, like I said, a lot of these entities are controlling and are on the same things and interlinked and so on and so forth. Next, we have the Retirement Guys formula with the address of 1700 Woodlands Drive, Maumee, Ohio, for their main uh, office, um, linked to Bull Moose, Etzer, Wealth Management, Retire Pittsburgh. So that sounds like they have the entirety of the retirement plans for Pittsburgh. America's Retirement HQ 300 Belmar, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Also offices at 5630 Main Street, Sylvania, Ohio, Murraysville, Pennsylvania, Cincinnati, Ohio, Zelianople, Pennsylvania, Dayton, Ohio, with 13 employees, and yet all those office locations, 250 million. Uh, and uh, apparently doesn't list the accounts. Uh, CU Specialist LTD, America's Medicare Associates, Peak Brokerage Service, uh, Nolan Baker is the Chief Compliance Officer and Managing Member, uh, also with Mark Clare and Next Financial Group. Now, after that is Polaris Growth Management out of Boston, Massachusetts, Polaris Partners, North Star Venture Management, 2000, yeah, that's in the name, formed out of New, well, this Polaris Growth Management is formed out of New York City, with 79 Scenic Park Drive, Syntec 4, Singapore, as an office address. And uh, actually, the filing is out of Delaware, so they have a, a office address in New York and Singapore. 50 employees, 4 billion, 15 accounts. Next, we have Polaris Healthcare Technology Opportunities uh, linked to this fund, Fund GP, KPMG, Massachusetts, eShares with Carta in Palo Alto, California, First Citizen Bank and Trust, JP Morgan Securities, Morgan Stanley, PGF, Sava. And after that filing, we'll look at Evergreen Legacy Management, formed out of De or with the primary office address in Denver, Colorado, formed out of Delaware, as always. Well, not always, but mostly. Uh, and now we have a really weird name, which is Evergreen Industrial Cold Storage COGP Fund. Now, the first thing I would think of, considering the context of the word evergreen, that that is a place that they would bury bodies or hold bodies, basically. A cold storage, right? The, what is that? Like some morgue, right? Panel Care Forester of Texas, PC. Evergreen Modular Housing. Lauren Von Karen, or Von Curran is a, a name uh, listed on this, uh, as with Gregory Guido and Evergreen Property Partners. After that, we have Dark Forest Capital Management out of San Juan, Puerto Rico, with Morgan Stanley of New York City. This Account formed out of Delaware with 22 employees, 1 billion, 618 million, and eight accounts. Dark Force Global Equity Master Fund, JMK, Ophiel, onshore and offshore, back in or Balan, Morugasu. Oh, Morugasu. Yeah, that's got to be a that's a person linked to it to this account, as well as Michael Dedio. That's an improbable name there. Sounds like those creepy CIA names that somebody comes up with, like Deadman. Michael Wilson Clark. Uh, of course, uh, also with accounts, uh, naturally, sub subset accounts in the Cayman Islands. KPMG, Bank of America, Citibank, Citigroup Global, Goldman Sachs and Company, JP Morgan Securities, UBS, BTIG Capital Investment Brokers, CIBFX, 
And then now, now we get this weird name, Booth Bay Absolute Return Strategies. Booth Bay Fund, Booth Bay Diversified Alpha Master Fund, and then other people on this account are linked to this account, Jacob Klein, Kelly Ireland, and Diego Rock Montoya. That's an improbable name for you from Princess Bride, Diego Montoya. After that, we have what looks like to be like a Mossad operation, Jewel Ventures, J-O-U-L-E, Ventures, LLC, out of Brookhaven, Georgia, formed in, out of Delaware. So the primary office in Brookhaven, Georgia, and the filings, the business is always, just about always filed out of Delaware. James Capital Partners, CLP, ZIV, um, Haft, Certified Public Accountants, out of ISR Tel Aviv, Israel. I believe ISR stands for Israel, but that's in the name anyway. Valley National Bank, PASAIC, out of New Jersey. Janvest Capital Partners Opportunity Fund 2, um, Delaware. Daniel Frankenstein and Brian Rosenzweig. Rosenzweig should be a pretty um, strong name for those that are familiar with the um, Left Behind series. Daniel Frankenstein, that's just a weird name because of Frankenstein's monster. Aduro Advisors LLC, Denver, Colorado, Janvest, PHE, BVC, BioCatch, 1, LLC. That's a weird name. Cust, Forer, Gabe, and Cassirer, Tel Aviv, Israel. So, yeah, like I said, it's probably something. And, again, uh, no other information on this filing. Now we're going to get into the really, the really big ones, the, the real core, not that the other ones are unimportant. Now this is going to start with Blackstone, Tactical Opportunities, and there's more, mind you, but each one requires a lot of effort and focus, because this one alone is 540 pages, this document. Now, the main office is listed as 345 Park Avenue, New York City, ST901, 2 International Finance Center, 8 Finance Street, Hong Kong, is another office. Then we have 40 Berkeley Square, London, 101 California Street, San Francisco, California, L20, 126 Phillips Street, Sydney, Australia. And this Blackstone Tactical Opportunities, as always, is out of Delaware. 81 employees and 38 billion, 319 million, and 91 accounts. Merrill Lynch, Pierce, Fenner, Smith, New York, Korea, Blackstone, Capital, Israel, China, Ireland, these are the uh, countries that they're associated with. Uh, California, of course, uh, uh, pretty much you assume that they're all over the Americas. They pretty much control the whole American financial continent system. BX Rate Advisors, um, Luxembourg. BX Mexico. Linked Tomos. Well, this is definitely linked to um, most, if not all, countries. But some of the names on the accounts, we have Joshua Shapiro, Christopher Strano, Christopher James, David Blitzer, and we also have Blackstone Intermediary Hold Company, or Holco, H-O-L-O-C-O, -O. Stephen Schwartzman, and Schwartz is black, mind you, in uh, German. So, black man. 345 Park Avenue, New York. Jonathan Gray, James. Or is the same, as the same, uh, same address. Barclays Bank, London. Bank of America, New York City. DNT, New York. Blackstone, UK. Mortgage Opportunities Fund, LP. Uh, Cayman Islands. Bank of New York, Mellon. Merrill Lynch, uh, P.F. Smith, New York. Deutsche Bank Trust Company Americas of New York, Citibank New York, Delaware, 
MUFG Bank New York, Wilmington Trust National Association of Delaware, Deutsche Bank AG out of Mumbai, RBC Investment Services Bank Luxembourg, uh, and that's um, Jersey country and also linked with Switzerland. Next, we have BlackRock Fund Advisors, which is 304 pages as a document. San Francisco, California, Sausalito, California, Boston, Massachusetts, Wilmington, this is where they have uh, offices, Wilmington, Delaware, Princeton, New Jersey, One University Square Drive, Chicago, Illinois, New York, Santa Monica, California, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Atlanta, Georgia. Then uh, with this account, we have Iron Mountain LTD, um, Cranberry uh, Township, TWP, or it's Turnpike, I don't know, Pennsylvania, Hong Kong, uh, next, we have an interesting name, Iron Mountain Intellectual Property Management Incorporated out of Boston, Massachusetts, Iron Mountain, Brampton, Canada, Mitsui Soko Business Partners, Hokkaido, Iron Mountain Service, GmbH, Deutschland, Furstenfeld, Brook, Germany, Mitsu Soiko Company, LTD, Kanto Branch, Tokyo, Iron Mountain, Nederland, BV, Kalfen, and then Rain, Netherlands. Tong In, Seoul, Korea. Iron Mountain, LTD, Atlanta, Georgia. Iron Mountain, Espana. SAV, Madrid, Spain. Evans, Evanson Best, LLC, New York. Vertif Infrastructure Limited, Southampton, UK. Iron Mountain, LTD, San Francisco, California. Iron Mountain, LTD, Kent, Washington. Crown Records Management, LTD, London. Boy, that's an interesting name for you. Crown Records Management. NX Wandishi or Wanbishi Archives Tokyo, Iron Mountain India Mumbai, Via de Valtorta of uh, 47, Midland uh, Milan, Milan, Italy or Milano, Iron Mountain LTD San Diego California, Iron Mountain Canada Concord Canada, Iron Mountain LTD Borough North Borough Massachusetts. Crown Worldwide, PTE, LTD, Petersboro, UK, or Peterborough. Iron Mountain, Switzerland, Ertenen, Schönbühl, Switzerland, or Schönbühl, probably how you say that. Iron Mountain, Belgium, NV, Grimbergen, Belgium, Siskra, SPA, Via Nova del Gebo, Ro, Italy, and then here's some really interesting names here on this count. Shreddit Singapore, PTE LTD. Datasite UK LTD London. Shreddit USA, Parsipani, New Jersey, 81 Walsh Drive. Actenen Lagerung, Frankfurt, Deutschland, or Germany. Iron Mountain LTD, Denver, Colorado. Next we have Iron Mountain Doe, Brazil, LTD A. Bark, Bark. Uh, Baruri, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Iron Mountain, Colombia, Bogota, Iron Mountain, Australia, Group PTY, LTD, Melbourne, Australia, Iron Mountain Records Management, Shanghai Company, Limited, Shanghai, China, Iron Mountain, LTD, Jersey City, New Jersey, Iron Mountain, LTD, Livermore, California, Iron Mountain, Mexico, SDRLDECU, Toluca, Mexico, Iron Mountain, LTD, Tulsa, Oklahoma, TESAMM Corporation, China, LTD, Shanghai, Egypt, India, United Arab Emirates. All those three places are also listed. Now, and this single account has 700 employees, $3,470,000,000 across 522 accounts. Separate funds and parallel managed accounts as well. JP Morgan Chase, New York. HRUS Infra, Infra Equity, Genpar, they, a lot of these have Genpar, G-E-N-P-A-R, or Genpar, however you say it, like GIF and JIF, maybe, LLC. BlackRock Execution Services, boy, that's an interesting name for this. BlackRock Global Renewable Power Fund, so obviously behind all of the solar farms on prime farmland. BlackRock Special Opportunities, BlackRock Luxembourg, Multi Alternative Income. Total Alternatives Fund, Genpar, Heathrow Forest Opportunities, Aviation Holdings, Genpar 3, Asia Pacific Private Credit Opportunities Fund 1, Genpar, High Cedar GP, Tenenbaum, Enhanced Yield, 
MM1 LLC, Red River Private Equity 2, Van Gaia Inc. Genpar, BlackRock Heartland Private Opportunities, BlackRock Realty Advisors, Belgium, Fair Genpar, BIS NYC Infrastructure Emerging Manager Opportunities, BlackRock Con Property Consulting, Beijing, China, Camps Bay Fund. Now I looked it up and Camps Bay is apparently a quote-unquote affluent community on the coast of South Africa. 